Welcome to Trucking with Fitz. Today we're going to do two loads, one to Davenport, Iowa, and one to Marshalltown. Just a short day, and then we're going to talk a little bit about truck driver respect. So comment down below your thoughts, and uh, stay tuned for some trucking. We're starting this morning in Davenport, Iowa. Just pulled in, just pulled past quick star there um, obviously headed into Menards um, this is a, a very simple load it looks like uh, mostly units of uh, plywood so I don't expect them to take very long to get this unloaded so that's the plan we'll see if that is in fact what happens you never know there could be somebody in there in front of me We'll find out here in just a second, though. Nope. Oh, yes, there is. Stink. All right, get back with you. We're going to get unstrapped here. He's almost done, actually, so... I like that truck. I wish it was dual stacks. I don't mind the 660. Anyway, let's get this done. Honestly, there's been basically no delay here. Um, I unstrapped half the load while I was sitting waiting for that other truck. Man, I hate to say it because I don't want to offend TMC drivers, but that guy was not a TMC driver. He put, picked up the same place as a TMC driver, but he had his stuff wrapped up already. And when they finished unloading him, he zipped out and got out of the way waved as he went by i why why can't i don't know uh, i like tmc trucks and i've met some good tmc guys but a lot of the tmc guys that are in front of me at a local menards don't respect other drivers time that's the bottom bottom line in my personal experience i'm sure it's not the case for everybody <laughs> so anyway that was all to say that i was thankful that he respected my time and when he finished he got out that's what i do for others that's what i expect them to do for me so anyway <laughs> a little rant um you gotta have respect for other drivers where the nobody else is going to Nobody else is going to. So maybe that's the title of this video. And we got to have respect for each other. We got to bring back camaraderie. I know there's some still here. Um, there's a lot of guys that watch this channel who are, who think this way. Um, we got to bring it back. We got to have respect for each other. We got to have situational awareness, realizing there's people waiting for us. And just respect each other. Uh, it comes down to that. And I'm sure I have stuff to learn. 100%. I'm not saying that I'm perfect. Um, I'm just saying that I'm noticing that we don't got that. And we need it back. So, anyway. Rant over. They're going to have me unloaded quickly here. Like I said earlier, it's just units of plywood, mostly. As you can see, looking down here, the tough string, Stra strand, tough, tough strand, yes. And there's two guys on me. One guy unloading over here right now. Um, we'll get out of here and we'll go to a quick start, quick, and then we'll head back to the yard and see what they get for us this afternoon, Wednesday. So it's going to be a little bit shorter of a day. In and out in about 40 minutes. Which, with somebody in front of you, that's unheard of. That worked out real well. We're going to take a quick pit stop here, like we do. And uh, we're going to get on the road. And back to the yard. Nice, peaceful drive across 30. People going out the entrance. I love when they do that. I guess it's both. 
Some of them roll, some of them rot. We'll pull through and park. We don't need to fill up today. Pull through right next to this bow hauler and go get some food. Welcome back, guys. I hope we get any wind at all. So, park this normally, this trailer normally. Um, today is going to be a shorter day. Uh, we are going to run a Marshall Town and then be done. Um, <laughs> I, I watched a couple live loads go down the road, and uh, that sort of annoyed me because all they had available for me would be Bur West Burlington and a Marshalltown. And uh, that's sort of annoying because I watched loads I probably could have taken drive down the road. Live load, guys. I need to sign a contract, guys. I need to sign a contract. I need to force them to load me. But whatever. We're gonna run a Marshalltown and uh, that West Burlington we're actually gonna do first thing tomorrow morning, so that's gonna work out just fine. Um, and I have some stuff I can do tonight, this afternoon, that I need to do anyway, that I didn't think I was gonna have time to do. You know, that sort of idea. We're gonna make do with what we're given. Look at those beautiful trailers. Uh, they just said that they, they told me that they hadn't processed the new stuff yet. So that's why they didn't have as much stock because they thought they were going to. But I know that they sent out live loads. It's like they don't think I have eyes. Anyway, doesn't matter. I'm not really that bothered by this, if you're, if you're wondering. We're gonna drop this trailer. We're gonna find out what trailer Marshalltown is on. We're going to grab it, and then we're going to run it. Okay, so we dropped our trailer. We're going to grab 422. Let's see if it's this red one, or if it's already over in the yard. In the gravel, that is. In the pit. I wouldn't mind doing this one. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Big money, big money. 422! That's the one! Let's get it. Let's get it. We'll definitely have to scale this one. It has not been scaled. Question is, how much does it weigh? It doesn't look like too heavy of one. Probably gonna have to drop the air. See it go down. I can see it go down. All right, let's get underneath it. Oh, not too bad. Just enough. Should be locked in. For a little tug test, see if we're under. Or we are. Pop the brake. Lift the air. Let's go. Interesting, interesting things that I learn when on the yard. Um, we're gonna find out how much weighs, but you know, I was talking about uh, truck driver respect this morning, and sort of follows along the same lines. I found out that Ruan, who. Um, is getting ditched by these guys and uh, 
See how our ST is coming in. Um, Ruan hasn't even told their drivers yet. And they're getting ditched at the end of the year. Ruan knows this. They've known it for a while. I've been on the CRST website, 75. 75, 60 we'll go with. Uh, I've been on the CRST website and they're advertising a job on there. This job. Just, I mean, uh, just confirming what I'm told by the yard guys here. I don't know. Why does it correlate with respect? Well, big companies not having respect for their own drivers. <laughs> not communicating that they're out of a job or at least not going to be working here anymore. That's, that's not cool. That's not cool at all. That's bad business. That's really bad business. No respect. All right, I'm going to go get some paperwork. And we'll be back. Oh, Marshalltown. Like usual, I had to... Turning left into the drive to come into here, I had to hold people back with my hand. Stop people from coming right up on me. Um, because they don't... I got my turn signal on, waiting to turn left. People coming up to that stoplight from my left, from the south, they never understand that I can't make that turn with them there. I will hit them. People don't get it. So I gotta remind them that that's the case. Otherwise, just get lucky. But I'm not usually lucky. down mostly unscathed this is this is one of the two trailers in this in the fleet that uh, when I turn my pogo stick knocks the service line off <laughs> really random I know um, yeah it knocks the service line off hey what are you doing what are you doing man anyway doesn't matter so I got I know when it happens I can I know when it's going to happen I know when it does happen because it it's pretty obvious uh, that I'm leaking when I'm pre pressing my brakes so just gotta fix it real quick and get on my merry way take you guys with me as I come out of an arch here sort of a pain but when there's nobody in the turn lane like there isn't it makes it 10 times better. And I think that whoever that was that was sitting there in the white truck knew my pain. It looks like Lazarus Hauling, which is the local guy out of here. I like how that does the actual Menards deliveries to uh, job sites and what have you. Um, he knows how hard it is to get out of here. I think that's who that was. So, it's nice when people notice and understand. Respect, right? Respect. Whoever that was knew what was going down right there and that I needed that turn lane to make it out of there. Oh, well, this is the end of our day, really. 
see what time it is when I drop my trailer. I contemplated washing my truck, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I just, I really can't spend money. So we're not going to. We're gonna go home and we're gonna eat some lunch. And we're gonna relax a few minutes. And then we're gonna do the project that we need to do. So let's get back to the yard. Well, we're in a different spot right now. We actually dropped our trailer off at the lineup for maintenance. Got a call as I was rounding this corner down here. Well, right after I rounded the corner, honestly. Um, telling, pull, telling me to pull it down here. That's good. That's good. So I had to loop around other end, come back, and then come down this way. And then and then one of the, the forklift operators had this whole thing blocked. So I had to actually go over to that lane. Anyway. <laughs> it was a mess. Just kidding. It was fine. We are going to go home now. I might go in the office and chat with them for a minute. I haven't decided. Tomorrow, uh, I think I mentioned this already, but we're going to West Burlington. So that'll be a good load. Good miles in the morning. Not a bad road to drive on. And, uh, what is that, 218? I, for, I always forget what it's called over there. 380 turns into whatever it is when it gets to, to, to Iowa Fall, or Iowa City. Um, it doesn't matter, guys. <laughs> if you're from the area, you know, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So, I don't really know what else to say. Short day, enjoyable day, low pressure day. Breathe a sigh of relief. We're gonna have plenty of work for the rest of the week, so that's a blessing. And uh, uh, yeah, we'll call it quits here when we get back to the house, though. Well, we're back at the house now. Uh, it's the end of the day for me today. It's 1:38 right now in the afternoon. Like I said, we're going to West Burlington tomorrow. Um, it was a good day. Enjoyed today. Talked a little bit about truck driver respect for each other. Um, we need some more of that. Uh, comment down below what your thoughts are um, on the topic. I would like to hear. It's the end of the video, so we're going to say thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up button. Share the video. If you would, I don't know that I've asked for that before. Share it, comment, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you tomorrow.